In the next few weeks, you'll analyze your digital landscape, connect with others, and cultivate your personal learning networks and add to your technology toolbox. You also begin to look at a wide variety of journals and online publications to prepare for your article submission. Consider the following questions as you prepare to begin the publishing stage of your learning journey. Why should you publish? As you move through your master's degree, others will look to you as a thought leader. It is your responsibility to share with others and help them learn even if you believe that you are not yet an expert. Quite often, sharing your experience and lessons learned as you grow in expertise is valued as much as formal research because many people are looking for practical examples from people just like them who are using digital resources to enhance learning. Sharing your ideas is just one way that you can become a thought leader in digital learning. Where can I publish? The digital information age has radically increased the places and ways that we can share our knowledge and experience. Traditional peer-reviewed journals will always be the most desirable place to publish if you plan on furthering your academic career, but there are many, many other options. You have the opportunity to explore where you would like to publish and then begin to draft and outline your article. If you are not ready to publish your work in a traditional or formal peer-reviewed journal, that's okay. You can use this opportunity to practice and prepare for future publications, or you can always choose to publish on many other digital platforms that you will have the opportunity to explore. What to publish? We recommend that you write about some aspect of your innovation plan or initiative that you've started in your learning environment. Whether you started an ed camp that focused on STEM initiatives, computational thinking, robotics, coding, or have implemented your e-portfolio initiative, a blended learning, mobile or online initiative, others will benefit from the lessons you've learned through your experience. How to publish. You have been exploring the literature related to your innovation plan since the beginning of the program, so you should look to the journals you have already been using or other online resources you have access to see to see if there's an opportunity to submit to one of them. Once you investigate the publication requirements, you will then be able to start building your article. Remember, you should not be doing your work in isolation. Share your ideas with your learning community and see if you can collaborate with others on a joint publication.